But now it's time for the first installment of The Randy Games, where Andy Datsun will try and best all of the WrestleTalk elders in direct head-to-head -head competition to earn his spot as a WrestleTalk news attainer and host more editions of the WrestleTalk News. Let the Randy Games begin. Randy Games, Randy Games. Randy, Andy Datsun. The comments have been favorable to thee, but you can't just walk in here and expect to start hosting the flagship show on WrestleTalk. You're gonna have to work for it. You're gonna have to best each one of us in individual, direct, head-to-head -head competition. Five games, each of which you'll have to win to advance to the next. You must be Pete, Adam, Luke and Laurie. In consecutive championship contenders matches, each challenge more devious and more difficult than the last. I'm waiting for you at the end of all that, after four consecutive days of torturous combat, if you beat them all. I'll be waiting for you, Andy. Or well, you shall have to best me in a game of my choosing. The Randy Games begins. <laughs> I mean, when she cuddles me from behind, it just it just feels like I'm protected, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, no, I totally I feel you. Like I feel the same. Yeah. I do yeah. like your mum. Mm. He's coming! Oh. Look me! Oh, oh, Look me, oh, boys! Oh, 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 oh. Was it? Andy, son of Dat, welcome to the Randy Games! The Randy Games. Your first challenge is the throwing of the pointy ball. The pointy ball. You'll have to throw this further than any man, but specifically, Chopper Pete Quinnell. See, the thing is, Andy, I've heard you in the office boasting about how far you can throw one of these things. We're gonna put that to the test, because you ain't never thrown against guns like these before. Yes. Pete, 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 Pete. Pete. Pete, 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 Yes, you, you got him. It's good. You are done, Datsun. Andy Dunson. Look how far it went. Oh, let him go. You're not going to do this, Datsun. You're trash, no Datsun. You There's nothing you, you can do to beat me. You don't have this at all! all. Oh. 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 That's quite far. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for the measurement to come in. Yeah. Is, it it it. Is it fun? Is it fun? He's turned, he's walking that way. Yeah. Like away from us. That's yeah, quite far. I think, it feels um, like it's further. Yeah. Well, let's not count this one out, lads. Yeah, no, so might still... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I think you've got a fire, Pete. To be honest, yeah. I really thought Pete was going to win. Yeah, no, I thought he had a better arm than that. Hey! Yes, well. You might have won the first round, Andy Datsun. But you won't be able to book it better in the second game against Adam Blompier. <laughs> Adam Blompier. In the Randy Games continues! Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games. Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games, Randy Games. Okay, okay, okay. It's been a couple of hours now, boys. So it's time for day two. You're gonna have to beat this guy right here, Adam Blompier. Tell him how you're gonna destroy him, Blomps. What's the one thing that people know about Adam Blompier on YouTube? That's right, it's that I'm fast. I challenge you, Andrew Datsun, to a foot race. First, to those rugby posts and back. And I tell you what, I hope you didn't fill up on bread at lunch, because you've got a second helping coming of my dust.
Contenders, ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, can't be asked. Randy Andy Datsun. Randy Andy Dats. Randy Andy Datsun. Randy Andy Dats. Randy Andy Datsun. Randy Andy Datsun. Randy Andy Datsun. Randy Andy Dats. You may have bested Adam Blompier. It wasn't, wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, it's to be honest. But tomorrow, you're going to have to face my OG best man, Luke Owen. And none of this fake running. We're going to do some proper running. Speed running. Randy Games. Randy Games. And special guest on the show here ooh, in ooh. person. Do we want to reveal? Like, should we just tease that? At the end of the show, we're going to have a special guest here. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a very special guest on this show later on. Are you worried that it's going to... Well, now people are going to think it's CM Punk. That's what I would do. You th you'd think that we would just quite casually just say, <laughs> yeah. ah, special guest coming no, no, up. No, 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 no. But that's what people... They'll start, subconsciously, they'll have CM Punk. Okay, well, I'm going to say this. It's not CM Punk and it's not Andy. Because that's, that's what oh, that's I would think people would right lead to. So it's not CM Punk. And it isn't Andy Datsun. I'm going to add one more thing. It's someone who's already part of the Wrestle Talk verse. Yes. But they're not in the country all the time. That certainly narrows things down quite so. Like two people. <laughs> and it's not Tempest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we had the continuing. Or, or Jenna. You're trying not to get poop on your, yeah. uh, onto your costume because you've got to wear it for a couple of days. Well, we're joined <laughs> by our special guest. We have our special guest here. I think most people managed to guess it because Ollie Davis no. gave it away. No, that was a cryptic clue par excellence. Um, you can sit here, my friends. <laughs> you take that seat right there. Oh, great. Look at this. It's SP3! Everyone, SP3 is here! Hey! 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 He's an Bring American! It Bring it in. Look at this NXT 2.0. I'll take it's, that middle seat. Yes. It's like when when NXT guys pop up onto Raw <laughs> and have a have a feud for a bit. So, are you saying you like Champa coming yeah, in? You're... We just need to like cut straight to the back now. Yeah, I'm like Braun Breaker. No, but Champa's a <laughs> Champa's a full call up. It'll be like when Dolph Ziggler was feuding with Braun. Yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, Natalia going down now to NXT to feud with um, Nikita no, Lyons. We're not, we're not showing up on the NXT route. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm like Braun Breaker because I'm from a I'm from a wrestling family like him. So there you go. I think it's very true, actually. He's got a point. The lineage. The lineage. The respected <laughs> family. But anyway, welcome SP3. If anyone is a fool and doesn't know who you are, when you explain to these fine folk... Well, one day Luke Owen was on Twitter and he, <laughs> he went out and said he wanted people, uh, you know, wrestling creators, content creators to reach out to him to be on the Wrestle Talk podcast. This was back in 2020. And I just randomly sent him a link to True Hill Heat and he saw me mark out almost orgasmically to New <laughs> Japan Pro Wrestling, and he invited me on, and the rest is history. I'm here in the UK. You can see me every Wednesday, 7 p.m. UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, see, I know the, I know the time. It's good, yeah. it's good to meet you. I can't work that out. <laughs> 
<laughs> on the Mocha 2.0 review of NXT 2.0 with Sat E Nyangi, the Mocha Brothers. We are every Wednesday here to talk about NXT, and now I'm here. Are you gonna meet up with him? Yes. Are you over? Yes. Oh, yes. Amazing. I think I think he's gonna meet me around in the area later later on. So today. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. We yeah, haven't I just... seen Sat for. I don't think I've really? ever met Sat in person. I don't think I've ever met him in person either. Oh, we got to we got to make this happen then. So yeah, yeah we really, be, really should do actually. <laughs> it's going to be a whole wrestle talk reunion oh, cool. together meeting. <laughs> it's very good. Also, it's the first on-screen appearance of Dad Inc on the uh, show as well. Yeah. Mm. Yes, the New York Connection, <laughs> the Ghostbusters tour is coming. It's coming <laughs> soon. It's coming soon. Um, so just you were saying in the office how you because you used to really like New Japan, you still do, but you were saying NXT 2.0 is better now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so much better. You know, they they're going back to a time that I always remember very fondly, <laughs> the Divas era. So you know, it, it's going back in time to mm. you know fantasy battle royals. It uh, wasn't sexy enough. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't Fulfill sexy enough. Your fantasy. Yeah. Take your control and see if you can best me at speedrunners as I play. As Brian Zane. Turn your controller on. Aha! Hothead. Are you ready? Then we shall begin. Oh, Andy, you stand no chance. Look at me. Look at me and Brian Zane. Me and Brian Zane on the Metro. There's absolutely no chance in hell that you will win this. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nope. Yes! Yes! Of course, Brian Zane! Yes, Brian. Oh, damn it! I, I messed it up. I had a lead there. I had a lead. It's Brian Zane. Come on, Brian. It's just me and you, buddy. Oh, what a shot! What an absolute shot! Yes! Yes, Brian. Oh, Brian. Yes, Brian! Yes, it's me and you, Brian! One nil up! Of course we're one nil up! That's what I like to see. Great, great. Oh, Andy! What an error he has made already! Oh, an easy point for Luke! An easy point for Luke and Brian! For oh, he's caught up. That's a mic. Come on, off we go. Here we are now. That's the one. Yes, yes! More crates! I'll have some crates for breakfast, I think. Look at this commanding lead he has got! Oh, it's almost too easy for Brian Zane! It's almost too easy for him! Yes, Brian, it is me and you! Oh, wrestle talk. You'll never host the news now. There's no way he can come back from a lead like this. There's a... No, no, don't, don't. Brian! Brian, no! No, Brian! Brian, Brian! Brian, no, Brian! Quicker, Brian! Quicker, Brian! Quicker, Brian! Go, 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 go! Don't, don't, don't! No, no, no! Damn, no, Brian! It's okay. It's okay. I'm still two one up. I'm two one up. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Here we go. Me and you against the world, Brian. Yes. Now my rocket. No, 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 no! It has all gone wrong. It has all gone Pete Tongue for me. No, no, Brian! 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 No! That's okay. It's okay. Surely. I'm in my own head. Shut up, Andy. Stop talking. You're putting me off. Look at this, Brian. Look at us go, Brian. It is me and you, Brian. Yes, that's what I like to see. Ah, oh, look, Andy making classic mistakes. Classic mistakes. Oh, he's taking the lead. No, oh, he's blowing me up. No, Brian, run. Brian. Oh, there we oh no, no. I just missed my jumps. No, no, I missed my jumps. No, surely not. No, no, no. Oh, God, I have lost. No. Ah, 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 Randall Andal Datsun. Did you think it would be so easy? One more contest before you face Oliver Davis, who has paid me a not inconsiderable sum of money to take you on here. One more contest the most terrifying contest you have yet faced you have done sports you have done running but you have not done running in a manner such as this the hardest game on the entire internet 
狂。But hey, if you like doing predictions, why not become one of our pledge hammers on Patreon? For patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk, where you can compete against us in wrestling predictions mm. on Wrestle League. Pete is currently doing the form at the moment, and that should be going live while this stream is going. So if you want to join Patreon now, that post will be ready, and you can do submit your predictions to be part of Wrestle League. Oh, oh hello, yeah. Pete. Here comes hello. Pete. Hello, Pete. Just a quick update on Wrestle League. Okay, oh, Pete's coming right. in to do, give an you... update on Wrestle League. I'm glad it was Wrestle League and not the audio or something. No, no, you're, you're, you're all fine. Wrestle League isn't. Um, it, it, there's some issues, we're aware, with Wrestle League uh, in that it works. <laughs> it works on mobile, we think. <laughs> <laughs> what a product launch. <laughs> yep. It works it's, on mobile, we, we think. think. It is. But only Android. <laughs> imagine, imagine if Wozniak yeah, got up on stage to be yeah. Apple or... yeah. by, by the way, uh, they have been setting on fire. <laughs> so it's quite frustrating um, in that it should be working and it's not. Um, we're, we're not sure what platforms it's working on or not, so just try various things and maybe an incognito browser, because that also sometimes works. <laughs> you, you've got to be ashamed of the lead. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's for Wrestle League and pornography. So what so what pay we've us. seen pay us for it. So what we've seen is that mobile seem to work. So if you could do it on your phone, that would be preferable. Okay, go back to your predictions now. Love everyone. Bye bye. Thanks, Pete. That's uh, pa <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk. Okay. There goes <laughs> proud man Peter Quinnell there. <laughs> There's never been a better time to become the play camera on Patreon. <laughs> 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 in fairness there's a lot of other good stuff on Patreon there's WrestleTalk Extra me and Sullivan reviewed NXT TakeOver Dallas and we, we had a grand old time Adam wasn't able to go to that show even though we asked please Ooh. I wanted them to, but they didn't. They were like, you will go to WrestleMania, and you will watch Roman Reigns and Triple H have a boring 40-minute main event, <laughs> and you will like it. <laughs> yes, we watched it from the hotel, and then rushed to the venue where they did take over Dallas to stand outside to pretend like we just watched <laughs> Oh no, that's even worse! That's so much worse! That's worse than our Wrestle League story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You might be good at running in real life, you might be good at sports, but Quop is not like real life. In Quop you must move your thighs and your calves individually in order to make forward momentum. So let us see how you stack up against a master. Oh. Oh. Well, your turn. You see, Randall, as I proved, it is not as easy as it looks. Let's see how far backwards you go. No. No. No, this is illegal. It's an illegal knee scum. It's a... No. No. Go back, go backwards, Randall. Rand... Randall. 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 This isn't... This... No. Well done, Randy, Andy Datsun. You've beaten Pete. Beaten Adam. You've beaten Luke. You've beaten Laurie. But now you've got to come for me, the big boss at the end of the road. I'll see you tomorrow, Randy. The final one of the Randy games. <sighs> I've got a lightsaber.
Hi, I'm Sally. Randy, Andy, Datsun. Welcome to the final game. Come join me here on the set you were just on. Thank you very much for leaving and coming back in, by the way. Take your seat of destiny. It's the last seat you'll ever sit in, maybe. Mm -hmm. For your final challenge. You've beaten every single challenge I've put in front of you. But do you see the connection? For each one of those games, every single challenge was to build you up, Brandy, to make you the best possible version of yourself, to host that news. With Pete, you beat him in the pointy ball throwing. Delivery. You delivered the pointy ball. You deliver the news. With Adam, all about speed, you beat him in the race. With Luke, it was speed again, but different. The metaverse. No, I, I think it's going to be a thing eventually. And I, we should probably, it was virtual. So that, that was also in there. And then with Laurie. <gasps> Quop! How to stand on your own two feet. But there's one challenge still remain. It's against this guy. It's going to be the hardest challenge because it's all about that connection you make with that teleprompter. You make with that camera lens. But most importantly, all of the WrestleTalk watchers at home. That is why your final challenge in the Randy Games against me, Andy Datsun, is a staring contest. Ollie Davis here getting one. ready and we are underway. This is our first contest here. Ollie already looks like he's struggling. Yes, he is having a very bad time indeed. Andy, as always, unflappable. I don't think, is he going to break early? I mean, he's already struggling. Oh, oh, no, he's, he's gone. Broken. Oh, God. He is it's gone. Even... Unbelievable. That appears to be a record of worst performance in a staring contest at this high level. It's unbelievable stuff to see this. An unforced error like that for Ollie Davis. Three, two, one. Here we go into game two now. Ollie really needs to get a win here. If he doesn't, then he's going to be in big, big trouble. At the very least, he could just do better than he did in the previous round. Just even slightly better, and he won't be horribly embarrassed. And he is doing better now, although once again, it looks like Andy has got his number. He really does. It, Ollie, with the raised eyebrows here, that might not be a good idea. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, he's moving the eyebrows up and down. Perhaps mind games. Yes. But is he about to have blinking games? He could well do. It looks like he's struggling, oh. but he's trying to hide it. He is on Oh, oh and he's God. gone. And he's, he's gone, gone again. again. Oh. Randy with a 2 nil lead. <laughs> Insurmountable odds for it to come back, particularly because it's best three out of two. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, you thought it was going to be that easy, or like a best out of three or something? Oh, it's a best out of five. So here, yeah, blink up, blink up. Because three, two, one, game three. A surprising turn of events here as well. Oh, 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 my goodness. Some heelish tactics there from Ollie Davis. You don't expect to see that sort of thing at this high level of staring contest. It's very sad to see. He has sunk to new depths. Yes, fair and square. One point back to me on an epic underdog babyface comeback. Game four. Three, two, one. And here we go. Game four of this. He's not gone for the clap again, but hold on. What's oh, what? that in his hands? What's he got? He's got a foreign object. 
He's gone off our own object. I cannot believe we are seeing this. Not, oh, not like this. Not like this. No, Randy will never present the news again now that Ollie has this advantage. You absolutely hate to see things like this happen. Indeed, indeed. We thought that Ollie Davis was a man of principle, but it turns out he's not. Oh, it comes down to the decider now, Randy. I hope you brought your balls with you. Eyeballs. If you beat me this time, a spot on the Wrestle Talk News is yours. Get those blinks out now, you son of a blink. Game five. Here we are, the most important game of the Randy games. This is it. It is do or die for Randy Datsun. If he loses here, all of his plights will have been for now. Absolutely. Some might say this might be the most important game of... Randy Andy Datsun's life. It might be the biggest Randy Games final that we've ever seen. Almost certainly is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just passed the 10 minute mark. It is quite something. How are their eyes taking this? This is serious punishment. 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, in my 25 years commentating on staring contests, I've not seen anything quite like it. No, neither have I. And we can hear the crowd. What are they chanting? That is stare forever chants stare. from the crowd. Stare forever. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know what? I agree. Here we go. I, I, I cannot believe I get to make this call, ladies and gentlemen, but in three, two, one... This staring contest has lasted longer than Rey Mysterio in the 2006 Royal Rumble. He is staring. He has seen some things. Ah! And those things ah! are Randy Datsun's eyes staring back at him. And now here we are, one hour and 29 minutes into this contest. And it reminds me this of you know, psychological experiments that they've actually done on people staring into each other's eyes uh, for 10 minutes straight. Participants have reported strange out-of-body experiences, hallucinations of monsters, relatives or themselves and their partners face. And, and, and the theories are that it creates a dissolution of self, a breakdown of the concept of the other. Uh, you become kinder more likely to let people in. You realize that maybe people taking part in a series of arbitrary tasks to do something they'd already earned by themselves was mean-spirited, something forced upon you when you first came that you're perpetuating an endless cycle of toxic hazing. All those walls you put up, they start to dissolve of the person you were, the person you became, the person you are now. We wrestling fans are all the same in the end. Lost boys and girls hanging on to the idea that the only thing real in this world is the one society dismisses as fake. We are. We are. We are. I think, is that Ollie? Is, is he, he's crying. He's actually crying in front of the world. And with that comes, <laughs> comes a blink. That's it. Oh. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. The Randy Games 2022 <laughs> has concluded. And it's Randy Andy Danson. Really, was there any other winner? <laughs> There was never going to be another winner. I don't think I've ever seen that man blink unless Holly Davis is cheating. Unbelievable stuff. Andy Dabbs is going to be on the Wrestle Talk News. Randy Game. I am Adam from WrestleTalk, of course, you know who I am. And of course, you know who this, this is. There you go. Nailed that one. Uh, it's the hardest working woman in all the sports infotainment. The Sean Ross Sapp eliminating low-blowing Denise the Hammer, Hollywood Salcedo. Good morning, Denise. Yeah. You know what I felt what, like what? with that entrance? You know, like what? when the football players come running onto the field and they break through the banner and they're like, Arr! that's how <laughs> I felt after that introduction. I was like, I feel like I got to rip through some banners here. 
Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I messaged you to set up that giant piece of paper in front of your camera that you to yeah. rip through. Did you not get that message? I could do it now, actually. Let's Please do it do. now. Here, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. We should. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here's my here's my banner. Ready? Oh, this is gonna be harder than it looks. Oh wait, push, actually, push, here we go. Push your push your face through it. But you got this. I can't put my face through this. Why not? I'd be like, I can't. Do it. <laughs> I'm pulling. <laughs> Come on, Denise. You're almost through, lad. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, there. you show that you show that piece of paper who's boss. <laughs> Damn it. Watch. Don't worry. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be so strong that things gonna rip right through the middle. And you know what's sad? I put my like entire force into that. <laughs> no, surely I not. was trying. I was trying. I put effort. Like when I used to go to the house shows, I was upset whenever I wouldn't see like my favorite wrestler at the time, Chris Jericho. I would get mm. pretty mad. Like if he wasn't on the show, I'd be like, the fuck, I was I showed up for this shit. <laughs> and this was Denise two back to back. <laughs> Denise, I literally thought I remember that. that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I love how you're not rolled up for this conversation to have a kind of like fiery debate. But you will be effing and Jeffy. Can we just please just like turn this show into like the rated M for mature version, please? Luke won't let me. Apparently, I don't Luke know, it's about it being strict. on during the day. I He's know. what? It's, it's, it's like it's something to do with it being on during the day. I mean, it's always going to be on during the day. It's live stream. Well, Somewhere not only that, there's going to be people that watch this like at night. Like nothing happens. Like I literally curse like a sailor on all my shows and nothing ever happens. That's true. So okay. I don't know why Luke is so like hard up about this. You know, he needs to calm down. All right, let's. Okay, w w okay. Don't tell anyone, Denise. And what? Or, honest, don't you people watching this? Don't you tell Luke? All right. But we're each gonna get one swear, and we're just gonna whisper it into our microphones. Okay. We get one swear. So you go choose first. it. Choose. Okay. Motherfucker. Porco cane. <gasps> You said it. All right, don't tell. This is okay. It. You, you, you're all accessories. I hope I said it right this, too. Right? Don't, don't tell Luke. Don't tell Luke about this because he'll, he'll have my guts. Don't tell Luke. That oh, was our little. Shh, shh. Don't tell Luke, Denise. Okay, I won't Denise. tell Luke. And I think it was because of Allegiant Stadium. I'm not too sure, but we had no pyro for a freaking SummerSlam. You know what? Mm. I was upset about that. I was cheated. I felt lied to. I felt betrayed. I, I went home and I was damaged. I cried myself to sleep. For the title unification, couldn't give a, give a fucking shit. Couldn't give a fucking cock sucking shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke is going to hate this show. No one tell Luke. No one even mentioned his name right now. <laughs> He's going to be so pissed. Mod mother, mod mother, or whoever's modding this, you, you've got our back, right? Right, you're not going to tell Luke. No one's telling Luke about this. Uh, I've had a message from Andy Datsun saying you're. I think you're probably affecting the advertising revenue. <laughs> you said that it would have no effect, Denise. There, nothing happens. Trust me, you're fine. All right, uh, Denise says it's you're fine. Fine. Also, or fine. Have people send more ultra chats to make up for our loss, quote unquote, loss revenue. Yeah, get your fucking ultra chats happen. in. You lazy pieces of shit. Pay for our sweats. <laughs> oh, Luke's gonna be oh, so. so wait, now we're now we're charging extra for curse words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is like a like a more extreme. This is like magazine show after dark. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have <laughs> we we have another message from Andy Datson, who I believe is watching this live stream uh, from the office. Hi, Andy. Lovely to see you again. Uh, podcast listeners will never want to listen ever again. I don't think that's true. I think we're delightful, Denise. Don't you? Yeah, I'm just retweeting people that send me funny screenshots. Don't people are gonna? They'll tell Luke about this. We no one tells Luke. This this he he won't watch this back. It's absolutely fine. No one tell Luke about this. Denise, have you told Luke 
Denise, have you told Luke about this? No, I have not. Have you even seen me type anything out? I was literally just retweeting people that were sending me funny pictures of me trying to rip through the paper. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm not a snitch, Adam. I'm not a snitch. I was going to say, blabbers get stabbers. Oh, some... Is that how you guys say it? Blabbers <laughs> get stabbers? It's snitches get stitches. <laughs> um, I, we have had someone um, snitch tag us on Twitter. Attention, Luco, and attention, Adam and Denise are swearing all of the magazine podcast. Boo. Boo to you, sir. Absolute Boo. Uh, apparently Damn, Luke... we got ratted on. Yeah, man, that sucks. Oh, 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 hang on a second. From Mod Mother. Yeah, we beat the system. What, what? We beat the system. We beat the system, Denise. We're still monetized. I don't know what you guys were expecting. Were you just like thinking the YouTube gods were going to come in and be like, that's it, we're shutting down rest. Although, how cool would it be? You guys would turn into like the GCW of like wrestling podcast. Where it'd be like, you got shut down by YouTube for being renegades. Yeah, we could have you work for us. And That's then afterwards, one. you guys would be, be like, fight back. The people would be like, YouTube, bring back Wrestle Talk. And then there's going to be this entire movement. And then Wrestle Talk will trend to number one on Twitter. And then YouTube's going to be like, we got to bring back Wrestle Talk. And then you guys come back and, you know, you, you guys all got tattoos and black leather jackets. And you got, you know, motorcycles on this show. And you're like, <laughs> Yeah, on the show, Denise. Yeah, yeah okay. On the show. You guys come back, like, you lose the clean cut British boy look, and you guys come back and you're like super edgy. So, you, you want us to be the NWO? Yeah, there you go. You just spray paint WT everywhere. I mean, I suppose I do have the dyed blonde hair. I guess I'm, I'd probably be the Hollywood Hogan of this situation. I. Uh, <laughs> Only I can be Hollywood. Sorry, Adam. All right. All right, Salcedo. Uh, Richard Stevens says, WT, shock the system. Here's a little extra to celebrate that you're still monetized. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Oh, we my God, not... I have a new nickname. De I was going to call you Denise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can call me whatever you want for 10 bucks. That's amazing. No, Denise, the unmonetizer. That's going to be my new name. The unmonetizer. <laughs> We are undemonetizable. We oh, have, wait, we... Should it be the unmonetizer or the demonetized? Dead monetize. No? We're still, we're still monetized, mm -hmm. Denise. You are the money. They, they, can't, they can't turn the money off on you. It, it's, we, we, like, genuinely, we got 10 bucks because we said fuck. It's delightful. Thumbs up. Luke, that, we wouldn't have had that $10 if I hadn't said fuck just then. Uh, Cyclone says, I don't feel like paying for your swears. Anyway, could you say the following in a Scottish accent? All right, Denise, you're going to oh, go God, first. Oh, God, no. All right. Okay. I can't do a Scottish accent. Oh, I can only on, do the Sean Ross Sapp accent. All right. Okay. Well, look, can you, okay, I'm going to say, um, what's, what's, a, what's a good kind of trigger phrase for, Scot for Scottish accent? Because everyone has like a, like a good phrase that they can say, like up and down the valleys for Welsh. Or... Up and down the valleys. <laughs> you, know, you know what? That not doesn't terrible. sound not terrible. <laughs> I'm copying you. Go do something and I'll mimic it. All right. So, uh, anyway, say the following in a Scottish accent Purple burglar alarm. Can you purple say purple burglar alarm? <laughs> well, well, Denise, <laughs> I'm not, not going to say what that sounded like. Um, okay. Purple burglar alarm. I think that's huh? what. I think that's what. Purple. Purple. purple, 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 bugler, bugler. alarm, alarm. Uh, Andy, you're watching this. Can you send Sally in? He's got. He does a really good. Purple, uh, purple, bugler alarm. It, it's because the Scottish accent is is um. It tap, you tap it, your tongue on, the, on your soft palate a lot. Purple, purple, <laughs> purple, 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 purple. Denise, this is the worst thing you've ever done. Purple bagra ala. Purple bagra ala. Purple bagra bagra ala. All right, one more time, Denise. I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Purple burglar alarm in Scotland. Pur purple burglar alarm. What? Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. Sorry, Scotland. 
Have you heard my Sean Ross Sap accent? No. Do you want to hear it? Yes. All right. Hold on. I gotta get I gotta get into character here. Oh crap, no, I can't do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Adam, so do you want to go hang out uh, when we go to Chicago at All Out? Do you want to go get some steak? Do you want to go get something? Uh, you know, fuck that fuck. Uh, 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 I can't be on this show anymore with these British boys because I make them famous because I'm the dong lord and I'm the best at everything and I'm the man with all the scoops and, and, and everybody wants to be just like me, the dong lord. Fuck that fuck. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna mute the memes because I'm the star of Fightful and I got such a big head. Are we still monetized, Mod Mother? <laughs> Please tell me we are. <laughs> you, you need to stop demonetizing the channels. It's just so mean. Don't you understand? People got to work and make money. <laughs> Adam, stop laughing. Adam. <laughs> he sounds like, I don't know, he sounds like the um, conspiracy theory one from King of the Hill. I absolutely love it. Uh, Denise, that has brightened my day You're no welcome. end. <clears throat> it's my absolutely one okay. skill in life. <laughs> Um, Sean Ross Sapp is saying, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. <laughs> Let's she go about here making fun of me on this British channel. I hate that girl. And she's All always right. asking for a raise. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so uh, Will Campbell get, says. I'm like, an angry DM soon. I'm going to get released. Probably. Released um, due to, <laughs> to mean impersonations. Hostile work environment. One strike and you're out. Um, Don't Will worry, Campbell I'll says, hit up Ollie and be like, hey, can I have a job? <laughs> oh, we can't afford you, Denise. Wrap it up, boys. Come on. This has got to be it now. Wrap it up, boys. We've got our champion. We've got our champion this evening, and that's... <laughs> Yeah, we the main peaked. thing. We've peaked. We've peaked. We've peaked at the pizza. We haven't got any more story to tell. Except for how much will Sullivan lose by? Because this will be... Oh, sorry, go on. Why don't we tell a story? All right. To fill the time between Happy Corbin and Madcap Moss mm -hmm. ending. Mm -hmm. We tell the story one word at a time. All right. Fair enough. All right. Once... Upon... Oh, that's the end. Once, once upon, that's the end. That's the end. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Great Fucking story, brilliant. Sullivan. Fucking brilliant. Fucking so good writing with you. <laughs> well, it's eight five. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. True story as well. True story. True story. Uh, so anyway, when I was um, at my parents' house, I uh, had to clear out some of my stuff from the shed, um, which means I found some pictures of me as a teenager. Oh, I saw some of these online with yeah. your horny bedroom. <laughs> I was, that's what I was going to show you. There he is. Look at yeah. this guy. Yeah. So that's China. Mm -hmm. And then just interchangeable big blonde boob women. Hey, one of those is Katie Price, a.k.a. Jordan. Oh, yeah, it is. In the people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, you know... Porn wasn't on our phones back then. No. Or in the and, or in Parliament. It was Jenny, on, Jenny McCarthy. On the walls. Yeah. And a lot of people said that. It was just like, I I didn't expect you to be so horny. And I was like, I didn't, teenage you know, boy. Just, I was a teenage boy. Um there I was just a, probably the year prior. <laughs> <laughs> the slightly different selection oh, yeah. of posters there. Yeah, you aged. <laughs> Testosterone hits fast. It's a weird cultural thing. Like my parents would get me soft core pornography calendars mm. essentially well that, um, that that's a, that was a widely accepted thing that, that photo there of jenny mccarthy is yeah. from her calendar probably yeah. the like 2001 jenny mccarthy calendar it's what only fans is now 
<laughs> well, it used to give you dates. Yeah, just, not, just not in that sense. Way just more functional. You know, to note down when your mum's birthday is next to a pair of Lucy Pinder's tits. <laughs> Sat. You, you've been a busy man. You have now joined the daddy section, the D-A-D Inc. All of those great words. Welcome to the daddy club. Oh, listen, it's an honor and a privilege to join the club. Babies are precious. They are delicate. I am constantly nervous when she's falling asleep. I've got a beeper in her nappy. The moment she starts breathing in regularly, it goes beep. Because you don't mess with me, girl. You're going to make it. It's your hundred. You're gonna make me money. I'm gonna be your Matthew knows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the King Richard. You're gonna be the, the Serene and Venus Williams and make me some money. But besides that, yeah, yeah, great, great kid, great kid. All she wants is to eat uh, and go sleep. She's got more access to my partner's boobies than I do. That tends to happen when you got a newborn. Uh, my 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 two kids of six. So if you heard a little scream in the background, that was my daughter, who who my son has been you know dealing with colds and bronchitis for a couple oh. of weeks so he's used to it my daughter just is like she's not with it she's keeping us up at night waking no. up crying she is not used to being sick so i've been dealing with that so welcome to that you'll you'll, you'll get used to that it's something that you know you gotta roll with the punches and do what it do but i'm glad to have you a part of the club your baby is beautiful and you're you're gonna be a great father sir thank you so much sir not even just yes. that. My baby was eleven pounds. <laughs> <laughs> eleven pounds. So, so good thing we had a C-section because she would have tore my partner's finger part. It would have looked like a punched lasagna if we didn't go for a C-section. It would just would have ruined it. it would have wrecked her. But my 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 whole life would have been wrecked. <laughs> the spice would be gone. She would have been torn. Oh my goodness! I did not know that. I I I I know you probably messaged me this, but I I, did. this is this is new information. Taking it in, yeah. <laughs> Eleven <laughs> pounds. Like, oh they, my god! He her out. I was like, that's the culprit. That's the big son of a. You know what? That's my daughter right there. His kid was born the day after my birthday in SP three week. It's no longer SP three week. Is baby Nyangi week? Yes. Taking taking the crown. Taking the crown already. And a great comment from Bubba. He was like, can tell Sat's not slept well. I haven't slept well since last Thursday. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Because we had to wake up early on Wednesday for me. Like, yeah, I haven't, I've been up, guys, for, for years now. For this, years. Is, this is the sign of being a new dad. <laughs> steps, steps. LaBelle then, Lock, Jules Bulldog, submission. Bulldog choke. Surely this is the end of the match here. Rope break everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, that's a terrifying visual. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, that's a very scary visual. Oh, he looks like a zombie. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That's so scary. Jericho, you're a wizard, but Eddie Kingston's an arsonist. <laughs> Um, um, not with oh. Danielson on him. <laughs> well, that's gonna th maybe this will cause the rift. Yeah. Like, Danielson's like, What the yeah, I'm all oh, Danielson and Kingston. Oh my god, this is so it's cool. How they're gonna implode. What? Oh, Moxie's caught between them. He's like, My friend and my other friend, my friend and my new friend. Straight into, into the GTS. The GTS. Oh, oh ref referee's bumped. up. Referee's bumped. Oh, and a huge lariat by Page. Oh, the referee's down. Referee's down. What Someone does this mean? could use the belt. But who's going to do it? Who will be the one? Page could feel justified because he's defending AEW. And what better symbol to defend? The company with than with its top title. Oh my god. Uh, oh, Paige. Is he gonna almost do it and then drop it? Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, He's feeble. Please don't hit me. Uh, Paige. Paige, what are you gonna do? Uh, 
he punks in his head. Punks in his head. Yes, Paige. He's throwing her away. He's setting up for the buckshot. But is that too much time to recover? Has Punk got him scouted into a GTS? Yes. He did. He's sucking yep. him into it. He's sucking him into it. Oh my GTS. God. Oh my GTS. GTS. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. One. Two. two. Oh, Paul. Three. Oh my God. <laughs> Sarah Punk. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Look in my eyes. What do you see? I see the AEW World Champion. And his bloody baby face about it. <laughs> Page crumbled. Hangman didn't have it. Yeah. Oh, he made his shit. He made his decision. And it might not have been the right one. I uh, I was going to quickly check the emails and see if we had anything to read through. But I also wanted to uh, tell you a, a little story, Simon. Oh, yes, please. So uh, when I got out of university, mm. so 2007, mm. I uh, had ambitions of being a filmmaker. Great. And uh, I, I obviously did not succeed in that field. Mm. Uh, however, I uh, made a film. Oh, yes. I made a short, a 45-minute short. Oh. Um, a, a zombie movie. Twas the style at the time. Yes. <laughs> and it, it basically went through a very long post-production period because me, like, we all worked full-time jobs. We were just sort of editing mm. in the evening. My girlfriend at the time did not really well, care that I was doing this thing <laughs> and this passion project. Mode, so I, only, like, I basically spent one evening a week doing like edits on it and stuff with the editor. Okay. So it took a long time for us to finish it. We eventually did finish it like a couple of years later. Mm. And then... My, uh, my editor said, oh, by the way, I've lost it all. <laughs> no, no. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, uh, the whole save file's gone. So we'd have to start again from scratch. I was like, it took us two years to get to this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we've still got the DV tapes. Because this was filmed on DV tapes yeah. as well. Like, it was the style at the time. Yes. It was the only way at the time. <laughs> um, and... So all we had was one DVD copy of it mm. that was quite compressed already because it was meant to be sort of like a loose, like, you know, small file of this. So we can just preview this and then that's it. So that was the only copy of the film that existed. Yeah. I don't have contact with any of those people anymore. So I've just been telling people, oh, yeah, I made the zombie movie. And it's like, oh, can I see it? It's like, I've, I don't know where a copy of it exists. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely not a blues clue. I swing to the actors. They don't have a copy of it either. And I just thought it was completely lost to time. Yeah. Until <gasps> my dad asked me to clear out the shed at their place because they're looking to knock it down. And he's like, yeah. some of your stuff's in there. And I was like, why is some of my stuff in there? Why isn't it in the barn with all of the other stuff? Yeah. Which is sensible because that's a dangerous place to keep it. It's full of rats in there. Yeah. And Mike's trying to get into it. Mm. They live out in the, the countryside. So I went in there and I was clearing out some boxes, check what's in here. Found a load of stuff that I've been I've been looking for the last eight years. Being like, where the hell's this been? Oh, there's my Panasonic 3DO. I've been looking for that for years. <laughs> there's my Atari Jaguar at long last. <laughs> and in all of that, I found a DVD marked The Good, The Bad, and The Undead. <laughs> Great name. Thank you. So good. <laughs> Title first, plot second. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, can we have a screening of this film? Well, here's the thing. So, I, whenever I've, people have asked me about it, I've always been quite embarrassed by it. A, it's a zombie movie, so it's quite cliche. But also, mm. B, I think it's a bit rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> All the ways and more to screen it. You know, I, know, I wrote it when I was 21. Oh. Oh, exactly, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm 36 now. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm the same person I was when I wrote that. I've seen pictures of myself around that time. I do not recognize that child. I don't know who that boy is. Uh, so, I, I have... I've watched half of it mm. thus far because mm. I've I've ripped the DVD onto my laptop and I have put it into Premiere Pro, made it full screen. <laughs> losing, so, losing some of the quality, but there yeah. wasn't a lot of quality there to begin with, <laughs> both in terms of actual quality and quality of screen. Um, so I've watched about half of it. There's a couple of lines of dialogue where I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was saying to myself, I'm just going to put it up on YouTube, just a bit of a, a digital dumping ground. Yeah. 
uh, I'll just put it up on there. And then people can watch and they can have a laugh. I won't be there when they watch it and everyone can tell me how terrible it is. And that's yeah. absolutely fine. I, if we do a screening of it, I don't think I want to be in the room. <laughs> Because I want to be done to be like, oh, oh God, no, 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 no. Um, but I am checking it just in case there is. I, I mean, I don't think there's anything cancelable, cancelable in there. Yes, yeah, yeah. But what last thing I want to do is post it up there, and I was like, oh my God, I made a gay joke on here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to watch it. That's the thing. You're well, have that's to watch it. it so I've watched through. half of it, um, and you know, there are actually parts of it that are like this has aged better than mm. I thought it would have done. Mm. And so far, none of the characters have said anything particularly questionable. <laughs> That's good. There is one line. I can't say it here because <laughs> it's, I mean, there's three different swears in it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and I watched it. I was on the train last night. And I went, mm. <laughs> I don't think I would script a female character to say that these days. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to see the action sequence? I would love to see the action sequence. <laughs> okay. Yes, absolutely I would. So this is incredible. This is uh, so you're about it's about the midway point of the movie. Uh, mm-hmm. So the the plot of the film. Mm-hmm. Can I make this brighter? Oh no, no, no that's, that's just as bright as it goes. That's just the terrible quality. Um, <laughs> so the plot of the movie is two cops and two criminals. Great. Right. So two cops arrest two criminals. Then a zombie apocalypse breaks out. So they take refuge in a school. I love it, and the title works with the with the plot. Exactly. Title first, plot second. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and so at this point here are. Uh, one of our coppers and one of the criminals have gone to try find weapons and stuff and then re- take them back to sort of the safe space that they've created. Yeah. I, yes, I did split off my two female characters and my two male characters and the two female characters sit around and just chat. <laughs> <laughs> Twas the style of the time. Yeah, exactly. We just didn't know that women could be stars of movies. <laughs> so we didn't want to take that risk. I didn't want to take the risk on it. I was trying to get this into festivals. It would have laughed me out of the place if I'd have tried to do that. A woman with character. <laughs> but why are they chatting? Why aren't they aren't chatting? They chatting and swearing at each other? <laughs> that lady hasn't called another one a whore yet. So this, is a, this is not a film. <laughs> that line does get used at one point. Oh, amazing. So, um, there we go. Oh, bollocks. Oh, no. Look at this. There's loads of zombies there. It's okay, guys. Oh, he's very, he's very confident. Yeah. Oh. Oh yes. <laughs> bash. Bash. <laughs> Big bash. <laughs> <laughs> these are, these aliens, not aliens, zombies, are having the worst time. <laughs> Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> now that's very good. That yeah. is very, very, very good. It does make me question how this zombie apocalypse happened. <laughs> <laughs> They're so easily dispatched. <laughs> if one man with two bats is enough to kill <laughs> eight zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that oh. was the the big action sequence. I, you know what, I loved it. Those who then have a fight. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so yeah, um, maybe we'll maybe we'll all watch it together at I some think point. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be really good. 